Hello and welcome to The Real Hernando, a podcast created to highlight our amazing local community and small businesses right here in Hernando, Mississippi. I am your host, Derek, and this episode is brought to you by Shelby Rowe Productions. Today I'm talking with Sibony Swatsina, director of the Hernando Main Street Chamber of Commerce. The Hernando Chamber of Commerce is the largest business organization in Hernando, representing nearly 400 businesses. The organization is dedicated to helping grow the local businesses by taking the lead in programs to create a strong local economy. They offer educational and marketing opportunities and create a welcoming environment for businesses to grow and prosper. Sibony, thanks for doing this today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Derek. I'm excited to speak with you about our chamber and what all we have to offer and uh, what's going on in our community. Absolutely. And I'm excited to share your message out out there, too, uh, to let people know we're in your back conference room right here in the office, right on uh, Commerce Street. So I appreciate you inviting me in here. I know you get a, a busy day, busy schedule. As we record this, it's a Thursday in June, so there's a concert fixing to happen in the town square tonight. So I know you got a lot going on, and I really appreciate you taking this time. Thank you. So, uh, you know, typically for a lot of these episodes I record uh, are small businesses, but this is a little different. I'm talking mm-hmm. to the director of a, you know, uh, and head of a major organization in terms of what goes on here in this community of Hernando. So. We want to share your story and get a little, get to know Sibony a little more, but then also educate uh, people listening and watching on what the chamber is, what it does, how it how it benefits the community, and you know, and all those details. But before we get into that, let's uh, let's learn more about Sibony. So, um, where are you from originally? I am originally from Horn Lake, Mississippi, still in DeSoto County. I was. Went to school there uh, in elementary, middle, and high, and then ended up attending college at Northwest Junior College, which was in South Haven Mm -hmm. at the time, and um, just made home and residence um, in Horn Lake. So, if I uh, read this correctly, when you were going through high school, you also worked a lot, correct? Yes, yes. I worked, I went to school full time during the day and then had a full time job two to 10 at night. Man, and you were a cheerleader and all I was, of that, correct? Yes, I was. How did you fit all of that in? It, <laughs> <laughs> we did the best we could. How, how long great. were you a cheerleader for? Was it like all, two years. Two yeah, years, like your junior, years, senior um, year? Mm-hmm. How was that for you? Well, it was great. It was so much fun. You, uh, it met, you met a lot of people. Um, it, yeah, you were the voice of the school. Um, everybody knew who you were, and it was just a great opportunity. What was the Horn Lake football team like then? Were they any good? <laughs> Horn Lake Eagles, yes, they were great. for a great team. Uh, but <laughs> you uh, know, powered was, by the force of the cheerleading squad. Uh, exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. We were there to cheer them on. <laughs> Did you do pyramids? Did you? Yes, we did pyramids. Yes, I would gather you you were probably on the top, yes, right? Yes, yes. Your small yep. frame. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could have held up anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, th- after high school, I-, I see you went to Christian Brothers. Christian Brothers University. Yes, sir. And, and I've been what Memphis. Did you, what did you study there? Marketing. I got a, b- a bachelor's degree in marketing, um, which has definitely helped me, um, especially in this career. Um, so. Uh, I- Made a great decision. I would think marketing is a big yeah. part of this job. It isn't is it? a huge part. Yes, yeah. uh, yes. So let's talk more about that. You know, so you know before. Well, let's 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 back up a little bit before you got involved in in the chamber. You know, what was your career path? Because I know eventually you started in South Haven Chamber of Commerce. I did. But later in life, right? Yeah. So what was what was the the career looking like for you, you know, post-college and and pre-chamber? Well, and um, I did a couple of jobs after college, um, and it was just, I I knew I wasn't in the right fit. Um, um, You know, obviously you work because you need to make money and um, pay bills, but it wasn't until I got to the South Haven Chamber job that um, I really felt like I knew where I needed to be, and Mm. that was in a association or chamber position because 
I mean, all day long, your job is to help members and to help the community and um, do whatever you can to help them grow mm -hmm. um, and be there for them as a resource. So that is at that point is where I realized that this is this was meant mm -hmm. for me, meant and for what, Sibony. What year was that when you started in South Haven? That was 2013. Okay. 2013. What, what was your role then? Um, I did everything from setting up ribbon cuttings, luncheons, um, posting payments, uh, calling on new members. It wow. was uh, it was everything. Well, you weren't the director, though. No, right? no, 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 no. Sounds like yeah. you were doing all the director's work, though, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a wonderful team um, yeah. at South Haven at that time, and yeah. it took all of us to um, to make it as good as it was. How many years were you there for? I was there four years. Four years, which four took years. you to 2017. Mm -hmm. right. And then I went to the um, Home Builders Association of North Mississippi and was their executive director. So what does that so. job entail? Or what does that organization bring? It um, it is a it's it's like a chamber of commerce for um, businesses, but it more related more to um, the building aspect. They were like painters, sheet rocks. Um, there were some mortgage companies, but it was geared more towards the building industry. That okay. association was okay. And what was that position like for you? Did you enjoy that? I did, and and I, I really believe being in the um, position I was and the role I was at the South Haven Chamber only led me to be able to do the position at the Home Builders Association. What was your role? Like, what were you? What were your hands in? At everything. Um, Back golf to marketing tournaments. and yeah, uh, yeah, you know, promoting the members, um, gang calling on new members, mm -hmm. um, just the whole, everything. W was that association in terms of infrastructure bigger? No, no, it was, it was a smaller, okay. um, it was smaller than South Haven chamber and smaller than the Hernando chamber. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah. So that's a nice little knit. Yeah. It uh, was. Hence why you probably mm -hmm. had so many different roles to right. take on, right? Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So you're in that association. Uh, and then how did that bridge happen from the, that homeowners to, you know, the Hernando Main Street? Was it directly after or was there something else in between? No, it was directly after. I was asked to come on at the uh, Hernando Chamber of Commerce when the mm -hmm. previous director um, stepped away. And um, and so they asked and I was, here I am. I'm all in. <laughs> here now, I am. That was 2019? 19, 19, May of 2019. May of 2019. Mm -hmm. Little did you know, a year after that, you'd be dealing with COVID and all oh. kinds of craziness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That brought on a whole new challenge. <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. So now uh, also, as far as you now living in Hernando, correct? Mm -hmm. You've been in Hernando mm -hmm. for 15 years around yep. there. Yep. And how did that happen again? Well, I, I met this wonderful man and um, got married and moved from Horn Lake to Hernando, and uh, it was the best uh, best move I could make. So you were already here by the time you became the director of this yes. position. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sir. So I'm sure that was helpful too, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah. you got all the work experience, but now you're you're going to be working in a chamber where you live. Where I live. Yes. And uh, and it being Hernando, which is such a quaint little knit you know, community. Right, yes. Know, so I would gather not only were you coming in with experience, but I'm sure you knew a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. You're already part of this community, no? no or Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, were, you, yes. were you trying to be involved in, in, in Hernando events? And Right, yes. Yeah. Oh, in yeah, in Hernando, you, you <laughs> can't miss the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just something you have to go to every Saturday. Um, and the music series um, in the mm -hmm. summers, yeah, everybody, you, yeah, so you just had to go to those. Yeah, it's so just part of Hernando. And you're making friends, building right. relationships, patronizing the local businesses. Mm -hmm. And then oh, because yeah. it's such a great community, more often than not, you're meeting the owner you exactly. know, as they as they hand you uh, a T-shirt at their boutique or a slice of cheesecake or whatever. You know, you're, you're meeting all the owners. So right. when you when you fell in here and became the director, what was that transition like? Did, you have a leg up in the term in terms of how to market because you already knew so many people as maybe it would have been a little more difficult let's say you were 
completely foreign Hernando. You know, did you find that it was easier for you to take on this role because of living here? Yes, exactly. And um, the people here are so nice and, and so helpful and willing to do whatever yeah. they can to help you in any way. So uh, I had a great support system, um, great support from the from a lot of the members because a lot of the members are already new. Um, from being at the South Haven Chamber. So um, a lot of them, mm -hmm. um, we were already friends, um, or, or I knew of them. And so, but all the, uh, just the support and the support from the board was um, great. So it, it did make the um, transition or the acceptance of this position wonderful. So there's members of this chamber that are also members mm -hmm. of South Haven? And, uh, and uh, Horn Lake and Olive Branch. We yeah. all share um, okay. members, which makes us all work such so good together. Uh -huh. uh, we have a great relationship from all the local chambers. It knits the whole county together. It does. Yeah. Um, and you have to. I mean, there's, there's so much going on in each of our cities, and um, it's just great to help each other. Is the Hernando Chamber... Is it safe to say the smallest of the bunch in, in the county? Or are they all pretty the same, pretty much the same? Yeah, yeah. No, we would we would not be um, the smallest, um, but uh, it, it's... The, the size, you know, doesn't yeah. matter. Right. right, it doesn't matter. We're, <laughs> we like everybody. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about... Now let's, let's get more into detail on what a chamber of commerce is and specifically what the Hernando one provides. But after learning more about this through you, you know, this is a main street chamber of commerce. And I learned that there's a distinction between a regular chamber and a main street chamber of commerce. So I wanna, I wanna talk about the two differences, but again, comparing to the other chambers in, in the county, would the Hernando be the only main street we are the only Main Street okay. in DeSoto County. Um, and and really a Main Street, um, what the, it is like the heartbeat. Main, your Main Streets and your downtowns are like the heartbeat of your community. Mm -hmm. That is where everybody wants to come. They want to um, hang out. They want to shop. They want to eat. Um, so being uh, in, in Main Street is all about revitalization. And as long as you're revitalizing your downtown and your main streets, the community is going to thrive and people are going to come yeah. and your economy is going to be great. And it's you're going to have the best of all the worlds. I mean, it's um, it's wonderful. You're you're helping businesses grow. You're helping people come to your community. You're helping your city grow. Uh, it, it's it's mm. just it's just great. Um, and one of the big vehicles for that are Events. Events. As yes. you said, Main Street is the fun side. Yes. So let's talk about some of these events now. As I mentioned earlier, as we record this on a Thursday in June, we have a Sunset on the Square. Yes, we do. So that is uh, live music every Thursday night in front of the courthouse, correct? Yes. For the month mm -hmm. of June. For the month of June. Uh, but there's other there's other events like the Water Tower Fest, uh, hometown headliners. Uh, the Christmas parade, which is pretty Ooh. epic. Like I want yeah. to talk more about that because that yeah. seems to be the biggest, best one in the whole county, maybe in the mm -hmm. whole area. Great, you know, me greater Memphis area too. Yeah. Um, so, as we mentioned a few of those, what, you know, what the sunset on the square obviously is a way to bring people to the square on a weekly basis, try to pull people in, families and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, the Water Tower Fest happens once a year. How did how did that come to be? That, um, it, we've had Water Tower Festival for 18 years. Um, wow. And it and it's it has just transformed and changed. And, um, and now our vendors, we have more vendors, business and arts and craft vendors on the square. Mm -hmm. um, we have activities for the children. Uh, it is just... Anything you want to do you, right there that day, mm -hmm. you can be involved in it. Um, our restaurants um, offer specials. Our boutique stores are open. Everything is going on and exciting for that day. What's great about anything that happens in the square, 
all these businesses that are on the edge of that square, mm -hmm. all that foot traffic must be really nice. Yes. Them, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Good. That's why it's prime real estate, right? <laughs> to have a business on the square. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, and I come from a unique position when it comes to the Water Tower Fest because I'm a musician and I've played mm -hmm. the festival twice in, yeah. over the years. And uh, it's really fun. Uh, it's a fun gig, as we call it. Um, and uh, and it's always been nice to play those because you know the streets shut down and, and it's a, a nice good size crowd of people that come yeah. in and all those vendors and everything so i've had a pleasurable experience pleasurable experience on both sides of it as one that goes to them and one that ha actually got to play in one and uh, any musicians out there that are listening to this and wonder what it was like to work at the water tower fest it's it's awesome it's really mm -hmm. laid back professional atmosphere you know and mm -hmm. some good people that come to love music you know and okay. i've noticed that hernando is very music centric a lot of mm -hmm. music lovers here in hernando that's why i would gather it's it's you know important for y'all to feed that with the sunset on the on the square and the water tower fest it just seems like music is a big part of hernando it is yeah. yes and, and that's why we that's another reason why we brought on our fall music series the hometown headliners because everybody loved Mm -hmm. um, the June series and would ask, when are y'all going to do this again? So, so last year was our first time doing that well, and let's talk it about was that. a hit. Um, so hometown, hometown headliners is mm -hmm. when? It's every Thursday in September. September. So yes. now we're talking fall. Mm -hmm. um, and is it the same premise though? Just some exactly. cover bands yeah. coming in mm -hmm. and playing exactly. Thursday? Mm -hmm. We great. try to have some different ones come in the fall than we had mm -hmm. in the summer. Um, but so many people like the ones in June that we, we have to, we just have to bring them back. Yeah. Um, but it's good. After a long summer, kids are back into school. school. Mm -hmm. So I would see yeah. September is a perfect month for it's, that. So, yeah. uh, Christmas parade. Ooh. So that looks like it's a lot of work. Santa Claus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> he is coming in. Uh, yeah, that is great. Yeah. Um, we, uh, it goes up commerce um, around the square and ends at the church. But, um, and last year we had 80 plus floats um, and everybody decorates a mm -hmm. float to the theme that we give them for that year. Yeah. And there are just numerous amounts of people um, that line up commerce, mm -hmm. you know, five people deep. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I was um, one of them this year. As yep. Oh, well, Christmas 2021. Yes. Oh, you're right. And it was freezing out, and I was drinking <laughs> hot cocoa that came mm -hmm. from Coffee Central. That's squared. Right. And I loved how intimate it is. Yes. It's, as anyone that lives here, we know that that's, you know, the section of commerce between the railroad track and 51 narrows down pretty good. Mm -hmm. So these big floats are coming through, and they're right there. You can really see, you know, these people on there. My favorite was the Ghostbusters car yeah. <laughs> that stole yeah. the show for me. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, you can see all the local businesses having their presentation and their representation. And, exactly. uh, and it goes for a long time too. Right, you know? yeah. And um, plenty of candy being thrown out. Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> There's candy everywhere. So you would say the Christmas parade in Hernando is attracting more than just Hernando residents, right? Is it, uh, It's yes. known throughout the county to be the place the, right. the parade. The parade. Right? Yes, that's what we that's what we say. That's awesome. It's our parade. Well, okay. So we looked at the fun side, the main street, yep. uh, and I appreciate that because Hernando's got such a beautiful square, yes. and uh, I'm sure over the years it's just improved more and more because of these events. But now let's look at the actual chamber of commerce side of it. Now, if I understand correctly, no, that's more for the actual business owners, right? Yes. And so yes. building a community of the owners, right? Right. And our and our focus, um, and we work really hard to do this and, and to promote the interest of the businesses and the community. Um, we feel like we're really striving hard and working really hard on doing that. And um, we we do so by helping promote the businesses, giving them resources, um, getting them in touch with local business owners and community leaders, and helping them to form the relationships where they can um, get together, talk, um, work out things, and help each other grow. Mm -hmm. So I have another unique position in this because I'm a member. 
So I've seen I've seen how this operates here. So let's you know we got the luncheons, quarterly luncheons. We got our quarterly luncheons, mm -hmm. our Better Business Breakfasts, um, mm -hmm. where uh, we have someone come and speak on social media or um, marketing or whatever the topic may be. But they come in and speak on that. We have our Grits in Government, where we have a local um, government official or supervisor or someone like that that comes in and speaks on what's going on in the county, what's mm -hmm. going on in, in the city. And then um, we have uh, our morning mingles where we, where a member will let, will come in and um, we'll tour their facility and they'll get a moment to speak. And um, our luncheons, you mentioned that, we have that, what else? Um, and then that, just mm -hmm. business after hours. Uh, we try to sneak one of those in every once in a while. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of opportunities for our members to get together and meet each other. That's just it, creating a nice platform for networking. Exactly. Sh hand, you know, shaking hands, handing out business Bis cards, mm -hmm. creating relationships, mm -hmm. you know, and good food, I might, yes. say, I might add. Hey, yes. <laughs> good food at those luncheons. <laughs> ah. uh, I couldn't make the last one, unfortunately. Yep. But um, so, uh, also, there's ribbon cuttings, and, ribbon cuttings, and yeah. I've had the, the pleasure to get one of my own, which was really yeah. nice with you all, yeah. and uh, it was an awesome experience. So anyone that's a member has that opportunity to get a ribbon cutting, correct? Yes, yes, and that helps them with exposure. We try to um, help <clears throat> promote and advertise our members as much as possible, mm -hmm. um, but then we also have a very good marketing tool, um, their, our website. Uh, it's Mm -hmm. it, all of our members have access to the website and they can create, create their own web page and use that as a marketing tool because we have lots of people um, that come to our website to search for restaurants, whatever they're looking for. Yeah. Um, a service vendor. Ser yes. Yeah. Um, so our, our website is a very great marketing tool for our members. So the ribbon cutting experience was very fun for me. So that is great. I would you know, let's give some insight on how that operates. So what I learned first was you don't need a brick and mortar to have a ribbon cutting because I don't yet. Yeah. Anyone watching this someday, I'll have a studio <laughs> office. But uh, so when I was given the call, hey, we're ready to schedule your ribbon cutting. I was like, you must have the wrong number because. I don't have an office. I don't have a storefront. Not the case. Anyone that's like myself that has, you know, work from home, you know, virtual based business, the ribbon cutting is really anywhere they want it, but sure. it, but mm -hmm. the default would be right in front of this office. Right? Exactly. So yes. that's where we had mine, which is really cool. Um, and it was, it was so exciting. And I loved how flexible you all were. Basically it's like, it's your day, it's your hour, mm -hmm. however you want to organize it, invite, however you want to promote. But by, you know, by default also, a lot of aldermen come to these, correct? Yes, um, <coughs> our city um, leadership is invited to everything we do um, mm -hmm. and they show up. I mean, they yeah. are very good at, about helping promote um, our members, our chamber, um, our city. They, they are awesome at that. I, mm -hmm. We could not have a better city mayor alderman leadership yeah. they're they're great i believe four showed up to mine mm -hmm. gm Matheny from the yeah. city was here um so in a way I'm, I'm trying to like any business that's a member or would like to be a member and interested in ribbon cuttings i, I feel like it'd be cool to kind of let them know how this works and what they yeah. get for it so mm -hmm. There was like a built-in crowd for me which i was really nervous about i was like is anyone going to show up to this yes. but it, was, it was great and again a total flexibility in my platform to how to present you know so I, I was able to talk to the group and, and explain my business and everything but again you let me just kind of design it how I wanted uh, the um, uh, Matthew Brazil from DeSoto Times came down did a little story on it and that's mm -hmm. standard correct mm -hmm. it's yes. a way to promote that ribbon cutting and, and promote the business right right and then of course the Hernando Chamber of Commerce Facebook page uh, that's you know busy so you get promoted there as well. So really, I really felt like it was like the week of Derek or the week of SRP because it was and it's something I'd never experienced before. I'm getting all this attention and being promoted to my neighbors. Mm -hmm. That was the neatest part about it. 
you know, until then, all my social media presence was just out there. But for the first time, I was getting promoted to my neighbors. So anyone that's interested in getting a ribbon cutting, I hope I hope I sold it right. I hope you know you understand that it, it does a lot of good for you yeah. for sure, and you don't need an office to do it. Nope. <laughs> Come right here, All right? And we want our members to feel unique and yeah. special and feel they are valued. Um, we 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 want that because mm -hmm. without our members, it, we would not have such a great chamber. It, mm. it takes everyone and and we want to promote them and we want to help them and we want to make them feel unique and valued and special mm -hmm. and the membership i mean it's not outrageous i actually as we speak today i just renewed my membership today with you thank you so to become a member first off it's a very affordable annual uh, membership fee mm -hmm. um and it's something you just do online, right? So yes. let's go, what's the website they can go to? It is hernandoms.org. Hernandoms.org. Mm -hmm. And with that, everything we just explained with what you get as a member, you're also on the email list, right? So you're getting you're getting uh, newsletters every year. Newsletters, newsletters every Tuesday, yes. Every um, Tuesday. And there is a there is a, a part of our newsletter that um, not only do we mention what is going on at the chamber, but we also have a section where members can um, advertise themselves. Send us a flyer. We'll put mm -hmm. it in our newsletter, and um, out it goes to everyone. Also, so, the ribbon cuttings are in yes. there. Yes, everything yep. that is going on with the chamber is in that newsletter. Yep. It's very informative, um, very easy to check out. Mm -hmm. Any questions, they're more than welcome to call the chamber office. Um, yeah. It's you, great. Y'all are very approachable. Oh, you yes. Know, it's, it's just like talking to a friend. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> so do we. Yes. And so do I. <laughs> right, Symphony? Yep. So, um, well, you know, before we wrap this up, I, you know, I like to give the guest the opportunity and kind of give the floor to, you know, anything that we may have missed, anything that you feel like we missed in terms of what the chamber is about, what Hernando is about, anything you'd like to add to this? Yes. Um, again, we're, we're here for everyone. Um, if there's anything that we can do to help promote your business, um, be there for you, please reach out to us. Um, mm -hmm. We would love to help in any way we can. Uh, as, and our businesses are thriving, our city's thriving, our community's thriving. It is just great. Um, so we would love to help any way we can. Just reach out to us here at the chamber office. And also, um, just to mention uh, about if you're if you're thinking about spending the day in Hernando, we have tons of amenities and opportunities. Um, you can grab coffee in the morning, pastries, breakfast, um, shop at our boutique stores, uh, run on down to the museum, which has tons of exciting information there. Our DeSoto Arts Council is open. Um, you look at paintings, baskets, everything in the world, jewelry. Um, it's all in the DeSoto Arts Councils, made by local artisans. So um, the Art Trails, that's A-R-K, the Art Trails. It's not 10 minutes from here, from her, outside of Hernando. Uh, visit that and then come back and eat at our restaurants for dinner. Uh, it's, we are the perfect place um, to eat, play, live. Just come on out and see us. All the reasons why Hernando is so great. <laughs> All the reasons why we're great. Well, Simony, thank you so much for thank sitting you. down with me today. I hope in some way this helps spread more word and help in the community. I know you're a very popular person in this town. You're all over Facebook. You're like a little bunny running around. <laughs> um, so, but before we say goodbye, let's talk to the audience right now. So, and why I say that is because we wanna, we wanna give the, the audience some homework. This is how the audience can help us. And that is share, 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 share. Yes. Uh, and spread the word on this podcast. And by, you can do that by going to our website called, and it's therealhernando.com. Go ahead, scroll down the homepage, find Sibony's picture and, and episode. Click on it. It will open up the page. Now, what you can find in there is we can listen to your episode. We can watch your episode on the YouTube uh, video. And you can read it. It's going to be all transcribed. But the homework is to grab that URL, 
URL link and spread it. Post it on your socials, email them to friends and family, spread the word because that would not only help the podcast, but as a whole, it helps the community. And by promoting Sibony here and the chamber, that, I mean, that doesn't get more community than a, you know, a local chamber of commerce. So it, it's a win-win for everybody. So we would really appreciate it if you could do that. Plus we have a newsletter as well. Um, well, we have an email list you can sign up at the top of the website. All it's asking for is the email. We're not looking for, you know, your, you know, your phone number and all this crazy information. And, and what it is right now is when a new episode is published, you get an email directly letting you know when the next email, uh, next episode publishes. Uh, also, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Audible, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, any major platform that has podcasts. Sibony's going to be there, right? You can, you can listen and watch your episode all all over the place and going back to sharing go to our facebook and instagram page at the real hernando we, we uh, post video clips and other promoting promoting assets for each episode and each guest just go ahead and share them to your feeds share them to your stories anything you can do to help spread the word would be awesome for the podcast me personally i'd be really happy anyone that wants to make me happy this would make me very happy but then specifically to each guest, it's helping spread their word, whether it's an organization like the Chamber of Commerce, a restaurant, a boutique, an ice cream store, Cheesecake Factory, not Cheesecake Factory, I shouldn't say that, but City Hall Cheesecake's what I meant. But point taken, it helps everyone. So again, Sibini, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, I can't wait to share you with the community more than you probably have already shared yourself, right? You're all over the place. And uh, hopefully we can do this again sometime. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity. It's been great. Um, and we are excited about our city, excited about where it's going. So please come visit us. And um, if there's anything we, anybody, if there's anything you can ever do or you need, please reach out to us here at the Chamber of Commerce.